Using the classic method, find A, the open circuit voltage on the port PQ with a polarity plus at P and minus at Q. We want this voltage from P to Q, plus at the top, minus at the bottom. And B, the short circuit current flowing from top to bottom, from former P to former Q in a short circuit from P to Q. Finally, C, determine and draw the Thevenin equivalent with its values for V Thevenin and R Thevenin. The value of this current source IS is unusually large, 3 amps, and the value of this trans resistance is 3 ohms, R is 3 ohms. Let's proceed. In part A, we are to find this open circuit voltage VOC with that polarity. And of course, we're going to use modify neural analysis MNA. Choose the names for the nodes, the reference node, node 1 over here, and node 2. V2 will be VOC, what we're looking for. Branch currents given, given, this one like so, arbitrarily chosen. And then we identify any CTL equation, control equation, of course, IX, this one. That CTL equation is V1 is divided by 3 kilos, that is IX. And then KCL equation for node 1, currents going in, only 1, 3 amps, leaving IX, this current, and that current. Let's write that one. And then KCL for node 2, 2 currents, 1 entering V1 minus V2 over 3 kilos, and 1 leaving V2 over 3 kilos. We have three equations and three unknowns, V1, V2, and IX. The one we're interested in is only V2, that is VOC, what we're looking for. We solve that system. 1.8 kilovolts. That will also be V7, and of course. For the second part of this exercise, part B, we are to short circuit the poor PQ and determine what is the current I short circuit through that short circuit through that wire flowing from top to bottom. How are we going to compute that current? One possibility is apply KCL to this Gauss surface here, but to do that we would need to know what is this current and that current. The sum of both currents will be the short circuit current. Wait a minute. What current is this? Observe that when we short circuit two nodes, they become the single one. And if we use M and A to solve this circuit, and we call the node at the bottom reference, then through this wire, the top will also be part of that reference node, and this current will be the current in an R branch. Voltage of the origin, VREF, 0 volts, minus voltage of the destination, VREF, also 0 volts, 0 minus 0, divided by 3000 ohms, that is 0 amps. This current is 0 amps, that is a short-circuited resistor. And what about this current? Well, this current in this other resistor is the voltage of this node minus VREF divided by 3 kilos. We need this voltage, we need to solve that circuit. For that we will use MNA. We have the reference already and this will be node number 1. The branch currents are given. This is 3 amps. Direction given. We choose this direction and this one we chose already. And we can write now the CTL equation for IX. That is the same one we had before. And KCL equation for node number 1. Karen's going in only 1, 3 amps. Karen's leaving IX. V1 minus RIX. And this R, of course, is 3 in this uh, type of exam. V1 minus 3 IX divided by 3 kilos. And this current, which is V1 divided by 3 kilos.
two equations and two unknowns, v1 and ix. When we solve that uh, system of equations, we get that v1 is 3001 volts. And that implies that this current here is 3001 divided by 3 kilos. This current that I'm going to call IA will be V1, 3001, divided by 3 kilo ohms. That is 1 amp. But that 1 amp plus 0 is the short circuit current, and that current is then 1 amp. And that is the solution to part B of the exercise. To find R7, and as usual in the classic method, we just divide the open circuit voltage, that was 1.8 kilos, by the short circuit current. That gives us 1.8 kilo ohms, and we're ready to draw the 7 and circuit between nodes P and Q. This is P, and this down here is Q. The resistance is 1.8 kilo ohms, and the voltage, 7 and voltage is 1.8 kilo volts. And that is the solution to the second question. Thank you very much.